Hello everybody. Today we're going to be having a conversation with Ryan and Carrie Ast. They are missionaries in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Carrie is Jen Manginelli's sister. You'll kind of see the resemblance here. Um, but they've been down in Mexico for a number of years and specifically down in Puerto Vallarta for the last 18 months, uh, starting a new work. And so I'm excited for you to be able to hear them today. So it's been a little over 18 months since you made the transition down to Puerto Vallarta and you're pioneering a new work for YWAM. So tell us uh, in a nutshell what it is that you guys are doing and what you're hoping to see happen here over the next few years as um, the, the ministry base develops. We moved here um, November 2017 and the first year was just building a lot of relationships with local churches. We hosted a few teams and just really practicing Spanish. We're doing uh, some online Bible studies, just meeting in people's houses through the, it's the School Biblical Studies online program that YWAM offers. It's um, the e-learning course. Okay. So we've been doing some inductive Bible studies, and right now we're just finishing up going through the book of Galatians. And we're working towards opening a community center with uh, partnering with one of the other local churches. They're going to help us run English classes, music classes, we're going to have game nights. We're getting some laptop computers so kids can come after school and do homework. It's located in an area of the city where people who work in the tourist industry live. Okay. And so a lot of those are 12 hour shifts and both parents working. So the kids just don't have a lot of healthy places to be. And so we're wanting to just provide a healthy place for them to be. And uh, also to provide a place where people from within the community can serve others within the community. So we're a little bit more wanting to be in the background and have the local church members doing the teaching okay. so that it's community helping the community. And we're really excited about that. Our first year here, we lived in a big house. Uh, and that was great because sometimes we had eight people living with us. But for the second year, we've transitioned to downsizing to a small house. And then we rented this community center, uh, which we're using for youth. And then underneath it, there's an apartment that came available. And so we thought, okay, God, do we take this step we, of faith? We too? got 13 beds in a two-bedroom apartment. It's pretty awesome. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That is incredible. But, yeah. but it allows us to host teams now, which is really yeah. great um, that we can house people. And so that's kind of our strategy for this next season is having this ability to, to host um, YWAM teams and church teams, uh, and then also use it, use the community center to, to serve the community. And then looking towards the future, we, we hope to start running the discipleship training school, which is YWAM's introductory program. So that's a three month training program, and then you do three months of outreach. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, how can we as a church community pray for you and your family and the ministry there in Mexico? The next team's going to be here for a month. Okay. And it's going to be go, 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 go. So just for strength for that. And then just continued favor in the community with opening up this community center. So far, we have been incredibly blessed by our reception here by the local church. So mm -hmm. we're confident that things will continue to go well with that. But of course, we want the Lord to be drawing people in and for lives to be changed. Yeah. Finances, of course, uh, yeah. pioneering has always got big challenges in that area. And staff. All we right. have one I'm staff person, and then we have people volunteer short term, but we really would like to see our staff team grow. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, it was great catching up with you guys this morning. We look forward to hearing more about the ministry, and as a community, we'll be praying for you. Thank you. We're so grateful for your partnership, and you guys are all invited to come down. Come down.